Even the humblest of Helldivers can do great things when working together as part of a team. When you're lacking a full armory, expanded stratagems, and a fully upgraded ship, what tool will you reach for to take on Super Helldive missions? Well, today we're going to answer that question. Welcome to the SES Emperor of Democracy. My name is Commissar Kai, and today I'm chunking a level 18 into Super Helldive missions against the bots. I did this partially because it was funny. But I really wanted to show y'all once and for all that anyone can beat these clankers into much more agreeable raw steel for the fleet. As long as you're sticking together and working as a team, you will complete your mission with honor. I'll be going over our loadout and tactics so you can face these metal morons with courage in your heart and a fresh mag in your weapon. So strap in, load up, and hell divers to hell pods. This one might get a little messy. Since I brought a relatively fresh recruit into this mission, I'm going to be acting as the linchpin of my team by bouncing between leading the charge and holding the rear. With that goal in mind, let's quickly go over our loadout. For our weapons, we're bringing the beautiful AR-61 Tenderizer. As far as bot weapons go, this one is a real workhorse that not enough people appreciate. It has crazy high damage, but only light penetration, which means we'll need to aim our shots carefully. This is helped by the weapon having basically zero recoil so we can easily pop a head or shred a belly whenever we need to. For utility, we're taking the grenade pistol for fabricators and the thermite grenades for tanks and towers. I'll need to keep playing with thermites till I really get the hang of them, but they are a good answer to tanks and towers, only requiring two nades to take them out. For stratagem support, our railguns can be helping us clear out devastators, armored scout striders, and hulks. It takes out each of these enemies in a single shot, with hulks being the only ones requiring you to hit a weak spot. If you're not a fan of the railgun, it's real easy to replace it with the AMR, laser cannon, or auto cannon for similar results. Next up, we have the HMG emplacement, which is going to be our answer for factory striders and just put a wall of lead but for the clankers to try to get through. This baby is probably the single best stratagem in the game against the bots right now with its large pool of ammo and massive amount of health. Last up, we have our orbital Gatlin barrage and rocket sentry to soften up bases or bot drops and to give us space to retreat when we need it. If this loadout sounds good to you, then consider liking the video. That one click helps out a ton with my mission to spread cooperation and team play to the hell diving community. To see more content like this, subscribe to the channel for new videos every week. If you want to join up with me and my commandos, enlist in the discord linked in the description below. With all that out of the way, let's talk about how we're going to take care of our newbie and lead our squad to glory. Before we really get into it, B3 is our FNG. He's a level 18 diver that has only completed a level 6 against bots before this mission. Still, he acquits himself well and keeps up with the pack because of our principal strategy. That being to flow like water. What this means is that we're going to be paying real close attention to whether we're being pushed by the bots or if we can push back against them. Now this sounds simple enough, but this strategy is incredibly effective, even when playing with random squad mates. The way it works is this. If we're faced with a wall of rockets and lasers, we're just going to fall back a bit until we can get into a good position to fight or disengage. If we've culled the herd enough that we can move forward, we'll go on the attack. If you're playing with people you don't know, you can still use this strategy to hit the bots with flanking attacks or to complete vital objectives while your team brawls it out. Keeping your options open and being aware of your surroundings makes it fighting the bots a lot easier. Let's take a look at an example of us taking on a bot drop by falling back into a better position to funnel them into a whole bunch of death. Crap, must be on my corpse. Oh uh, shit. I just, hold on. I can call him anyone oh, no. soon. Right. Back up a bit. Get him. Yep. Revenge. Get his ass. Revenge. Oh shit. Alright, I'm, I'm on him. Alright, I'm calling a new pack soon though. Marcus, I got you. I believe in you. Uh, J2 oh. on your left, on your left. Oh, shit. Okay, he's I'll done. Him in the back. Get his back. Yeah, yep. he's down. Alright, I'll hold the line with the HMG. Y'all keep moving the other direction. Roger, roger. What am I, what do I see? That's a tank there. That's hold a on. tank. I got an OPS for him. I just need him to get closer. Roger, roger. Throwing a Gatling Barrage. Can you get that Strider right there? Yeah. Clear him out of the way. Thank you. I can't hit anything right now. A lot more. I'm gonna chuck an air burst out there. Clear out whatever's left. Damn, that Hulk got missed. He got absolutely wrecked. Alright, let's All right. move. Well, tanks Stunning this Hulk. Before we head to the next objective, let's take a quick look at our map so you get an idea of what we're working with. So we dropped at extraction, and as you can see from the objectives we completed, we kind of made our way vaguely towards the middle of the map. 
But we got near that primary, we ran into that bot drop. And I did not think it would be a wise idea for us to push through a bot drop onto a primary objective while being half surrounded by fabricators, which are going to spawn patrols over and over and over again until, you know, we run out of bullets. So instead, what we did is fell back, fortified a position, killed everything that was following us, and then we were able to move on. So with all that in mind, we're going to go in a clockwise rotation, hitting all the fabricators and side objectives we can see. Now that you know the game plan, let's take a look at us assaulting the bot outpost with these tactics in mind. We got a patrol. Let's sneak up. We'll hit them at the same time. Y'all ready? Sounds good to me. Fire! Which one of those is a heavy? I don't see any heavies. Only scout striders. Uh, there's something back there. Might be a Hulk. Ow! Mark, mark a Hulk if you see one. Alright, we one. got him. Alright, outpost over here. Oh, I got a good spot for Randy. Trying to soften them up a bit before they get to you. Oh wait, I can just hit this. I have a spear. Hold on. God, the flaming right berserkers. That's so cool. I love it. Got that whole bruiser. Hell yeah. Throwing another Gatling in. Uh oh, hold on. Over here. Oh, coming. Mind helping Whoa. clean that up? Oh, jeez. Oh, that hurt. Are you guys noticing being ragdolled a little bit less lately? Yeah, it's the hotfix. It's so nice. Yeah. I think it is the hotfix, yeah. Hey, uh, do we have something that can get in there and start blowing up those fabricators? I have an orbital walking barrage. I'm just, uh, pin down. How about an orbital walking barrage? Okay, that was some work. bullshit. Did I just kill you? No, 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 it wasn't you. Okay. Cause the, the scout strider missile went through a fab. Oh damn, they dropped right on top of us. Oh, that's not good. No, it's fine. We got two HMG emplacements in a book. Initiative, what's shooting at us over here? That's oh. a shredder tank. Hold on, yeah, I got it. Nice, good hit. I love this thing. If you see anything you can't deal with like other tanks, tell me. Yeah, ping any heavy targets for the spear user. Ah, uh, he's still alive. Shoot. It's alright. Got I'll him. No, oh, nice hit. What's over there? All right, y'all. One second. Once that heavy devastator's dead. All right, push him. Let's go take out these things. As y'all can hear, as soon as I see that all the threats have been dealt with, and as you can see, there's not much lasers and rockets coming at our faces, I call for the attack. So we push into the outpost and start taking these fabricators out. This push and pull between attacking and defending is the main point I want to drive home with this video, y'all, because it is so incredibly important for dealing with the bots in a reasonable manner, especially on Super Hell Dive. And I promise you, you can take these tips into your regular games with random people, and it will still work. You just got to stay around your team and kind of flow with what they're doing. Just as an example, if your team's really stuck in and they're being stubborn, not wanting to move, you can break away from that fight by disengaging, find a better spot, maybe a cliff overlooking the fight or something, and deliver down some righteous judgment to these stupid tin cans. Now, I do like to teach in my videos, but we gotta remember, this game is played to be fun, so let's take a brief intermission from the lesson plan, and I want to show y'all a clip. I think we have the rogue lab right here. Oh, that, yeah, that's yeah, some right. that's some bad ideas. Let's go get rid of them. <laughs> what is this? Heretical thoughts? Yeah. Attention, heretical scientists of Super Earth. You have been accused of attempting to produce green energy. Unsanctioned green energy production in an effort to replace Element 710 is a violation of Federation of Super Earth Order 420-69. The Council of Super Earth has decided that your punishment will be one orbital bunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was masterfully done. Incredible. <laughs> I'm still arming this hell bomb. To record that. No, right no, wait. I want to face the bomb while I have the boat up. Let's go. We might be close. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. 
even if you're playing a super hell dive against the bots and you have a level 18 in your party, you can still have a good time. All right, intermission's over. Back to the lesson plan. So if we're going to try to flow like water, what are we going to do here? Well, we got a big old factor strider in distance and fairly large outpost. This means it's probably going to have bot drop called in. So we want to prepare for a big fight. And right now, we need to hold the line, hold our defenses before we push into the outpost. Because we don't know what's up there and that factor strider could really mess us up. So let's listen in and see how this goes. Oh shit. Dude, what is the fucking... Oh my god. I got the, I got the chin guns off. Uh, this game does just not want to let me have a dub tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just walk in barrage this. He's Actually, dead. No, we're, we're good. I'm still out of missiles though. Thank Hold you, bro. I got an idea. I'm just gonna throw a new spear. Yep. Uh, on the right of the turret, they're coming in. Striders and devs. Uh oh. Okay. All right, let's find a good place to fight, because this is not one of them. Yeah, this ain't it. Ow. I got a new shield whenever we're ready for it. Ow. I'm going to pick up your spear backpack, just in case. All right, I got the supply pack. Who needs it? Now, uh, load me up. I got spear ammo. Yeah, please. Thank you. There we go. All right. Who needs, who needs Assisted who needs reload. Shot. Get him. Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, too many, too many. Back down. Let me know when you see someone worth taking out. Yeah. That's all scout strikers. Whole lot of scout strikers. Whole lot of scout strikers. Throwing in a Gatling. Try hanging out back behind this tree here. Is there a tank over here? No. no. Oh, they, oh, hey, the scout strider killed his friend. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, we have an army coming in, y'all. Hold your ground! What is over here? That's a shrimp tank. I got that. You need yeah, team reload. Off. Let me know. I'll run to you. No, it's all right. I don't see any whole lot of heavies right now. What is over here? Hold oh, that's a barrage tank. I got a bonk for it. Wait, where? Give him the bonk. Let the man bonk. Oh, he caught him. Oh, where they bonk? That guy, however. Yep. All right, push goes. into the base. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, man. Ow. Hold on. Oh, that is a cannon tower and a Hulk. Oh, shit. No Coming. Cannon tower? Got it. I got this. Stunning. No more cannon tower. Ow. Thank you for that stun. Oh, he's not stunned. There goes the Hulk. He's nice, dead. nice. Uh, I Hell see yeah. one more fabricator over there. Where'd you go? There you are. I was trying to stim you and you just fell over. I'm cracked all. There we go. That outpost destroyed, all that's left is the big old heavy outpost. As you can see on our map here, we've cleared out pretty much everything we needed to. The only thing left is the primary objective and the big old bot outpost. So, we're going to push our way towards it. But one thing with the heavy outposts is they spawn a lot of enemies out of them, especially when they're the only one left. And you're going to have bot drops being called in. So this is going to be a big old push and pull type of fight. Whenever there's a big bot drop and we're trying to push into an area, it's too hard to just run through it. So that means we need to pull them into us in a good fighting position. I found this area between these two rocks and I know that that's going to be a good funnel. So I threw down the resupply to encourage my teammates to go there, and I'm just clearing out everything that's up here before heading back and regrouping up with my team. I do want to show you all a good bit of this fight, just because it really highlights how difficult it can be to take out these outposts, especially if, you know, you're not all just on your game, or if, you know, people don't know how to maneuver around it on their own and deal with fabricators and all that stuff. It's complicated, y'all, and that's kind of the point. But I want you all to see how this fight goes and how we coordinate to deal with the threats as they arise. Tank coming in right here. Oh, it's a barrage tank. I got oh, him. shit. Oh, my my precision's on cooldown. I got him. Don't worry. That's my job. Yep, yep. There he goes. I think. Damn. He's still alive? Uh, I can get a resupply if you can. There he goes. There, team reload. Wait. He's... Thanks, dude. There you go. Reloading you. I don't know. 
scout chatter on the right or left. Is that a, that's not a Hulk, is it? No, that's not a Hulk. Okay, we're good. What am I shoot? Is that is that barrage or tank dead? It's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's dead. All right, y'all. Let's grab up the resupply you need it. It's like right here, and then let's push in. Yeah, they have fortress. boxes got trashed, but we they're are, right around me. We are on the clock, gentlemen. Yep. Rush forward. Oh God. Hold on. Oh, that hurt. Hulk Scorcher, I got him. All right, hey y'all, I want you guys to move down towards that ping. I've got the HMG in placement because otherwise we're just gonna keep fighting crap that's coming out of the base. So I'll hold yeah. him here with this. Y'all move when you're in position. Let me know and I'll follow. You got it. I don't know where it is either. Once Ooh. I see it, I'm down for now. Oh, uh, they're dropping behind us. Dropping behind us. Oh crap. Um, here. Hey, get to me if you can, y'all. We got to reposition. We want to go over here now. Yep. Run, run we got Striders oh. pushing us up. Oh. No. Calling you in. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna yeah, that didn't feel good. That didn't feel too good at all. I'm coming, yeah. J2. You Hang in there. I got three three missiles. I, I got I got more. They're oh, broader Jesus. tank. Broader tank. Still with us? Yep, yep. There's do you two. Need, do you need uh, a they're on me. Uh, I'm right looping now. around him. I got that one. Nice. Second one is right next to him, relative to you. It's to the right. Heavy target on ping. I got you with the team reload. There we go. Marking the tank. I'll keep him recon marked. Uh, you're nine o'clock, T4. Barrage your tank. I can't seem to lock it. You're there loaded. It Anything else? Nice shot. Hulk, take him oh. out. One more Am shot. I... That's your last. Oh, that was it. Calling in re resupply behind you. I think that was all we needed. That got the Hulk. All right, we'll get that resupply up. Let's push into this base because they're going to keep coming until we take out those fabricators. Uh oh. Right, Damn, well, that was brutal. Time for you to do your job. Truly the horrors of war. Ooh, okay, that hurt. I'm alive though. Uh, I think there's still a turret up in there. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Is it this thing? No, that's not. Uh, right. I see it. It's right there. That's a cannon. Yep. Got another the cannon right there. I can't lock this one. I can't All right, lock it's fine. One. It's fine. We're gonna have to take it okay. out. Something up. Oh God damn it! I'm alive. Nice. Laser cannon. All right, push in. Push in. Go. 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 Got another, oh, another cannon, cannon right here. Oh shit. Mark the cannon. I can't see the I can't hit these turrets. Yeah, spear locked. spear has a problem with it. Just use uh, more conventional means. Yep, I'm keeping my distance. Oh it is really not my game. Back away from that edge. Back that edge. Alright, back up, back up. Oh, I need a stem. T4, do you stem me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. I'm right here, right here, come on. Oh shit, back up a bit, thank you. Watch out. No! Oh, All right, y'all, we gotta disengage. That was our last <laughs> reinforcement. I'll Not hold bad. him back, it's fine. Just move on Not to the next bad. objective. I'm sorry, I, no, I was no, trying no. to get out of the turret's line of sight. It's all right, go to the primary, go to the primary. I got you covered. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to Ditch this, ditch the base. Yep, yep, we got it. We don't have reinforcements to keep fighting this. Let's go. We weren't able to finish off the heavy outpost, and it deeply saddens me. But I do want to make sure my team completes the mission, and, you know, we get a good honorable duty at least. So we had to move on to the primary. Now, most of the rest of this is just us being silly and having fun. But given how the game's been recently... I think that we all deserve a little bit of that. But stick around until the very end because I'll be showing a little bit of a bonus loadout from the armory of Kai's Commandos. I'll see y'all at extraction. All right, you're loaded. Now let me get that guy in front of us. I think, yeah, that tank's still up. Hang on. Oh, ow. Oh, hey, that's Are you alive? All right, you're alive. You're loaded. That's the last one I have. Don't worry, that's all I needed. 
Alright, y'all, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Dude, I can just count the number of tanks you kill by the donks. <laughs> the box. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen, let's go. We got two minutes to get to extract. Haul ass. On me. <laughs> No! No! Oh no! Staring at you, you poor bastard. Oh shit! Oh damn it! <laughs> Where did that grenade come from? I'm so sad that Biscuit is dead. I can't just leave without him. Unfortunately, our newbie gave the ultimate sacrifice and is not making it home. But with the squad more or less safe, let's take a quick peek at a loadout from the armory. This one was done by Helldiver Stormrider QV, and he calls it the delivery guy. Packing all the chaff clear you could ever need, light armor with the stamina enhancement booster for tons of mobility, and a supply pack to make sure your anti-tank squad mates never run dry, this loadout fills the niche of chaff clear to a T. If the thought of having no anti-tank in the loadout scares you, just swap the strafe and run for the Orbital Precision Striker 500kg. If you want to see a loadout of yours featured in a video, drop it in the armory on my Discord. But until next time, this is Commissar Kai, signing out.